Ricky Smiley Morning Show, ladies and gentlemen, and we are happy to have Miss Bernice Jenkins in his ass. Yeah! Come and go with me <laughs> to my father's house. Oh, to my father's house. Yeah, to my father's house. Oh, come and go with me to my father's house. There is joy, joy, joy. That comes out. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, man. That man sung at church. We had church the other day. I just don't like, you know, I'm just funny acting sometimes. I don't like when my pastor don't be there. I get a little teed off. Uh-huh. I be teed off, too. Yeah, I get teed <laughs> off. I be wanting to hear my pastor then. You got to tell folks why they don't ever tell the members that are visiting pastor coming. Yeah, he preached good, but I think I'm, I probably still would have stayed my ass at home. <laughs> 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 Govern yourself accordingly. Let me get my glasses because this was printed in fine print. Now, it was truly a blessing to see so many people who came out for the Thanksgiving dinner at the church. Everybody had a good time, but Sister Flora Maxwell's son, DeAndre, and he had just got home from prison last month. And now he, Jenny, now he back in jail because he got caught selling reefer out from behind the fellowship hall while folks was inside eating. <laughs> they act like they love to stay in jail. What's wrong with them? Now, please pray hard for Mother Henrietta Sims. You know Mother Henrietta Sims? Yeah. Yeah, now she is in the hospital this morning, and, you know, she's a big woman. She's about 400 pounds, and she got hurt at, at a Black Friday sale at Sam's Club when she got to fighting with some white woman over a 10-gallon bucket of Hush's chocolate syrup. And she fell into a crate full of live crabs and got bit up and scratched up real bad. When they pulled up out of that chain and them crabs, they, they, they had got a hold of them. They took over that to Cooper Green Hospital and had to pick every last one of them off. Then they had to put two of them black nurses in jail because they stole four or five of them. Took them home and I guess they was going to have... What they call it, Rock T? A crowbar. A crowbar. <laughs> with the potatoes and the sausages in it. What, what they call it, Rock T? Crowbar. A crowbar. Uh-huh. <laughs> Janie, you know they having the home going service going to be hell on Wednesday for 93-year-old Deacon Burrell Hopkins. You know him. Yeah. He, pa he passed away on Thanksgiving night, and he had been suffering from stage three scrotum rash. <laughs> <laughs> Severely dehydrated tonsils, dry earwax buildup, neck spasms, and soft kneecap disorder. But Janie, that ain't what killed him. He died. He died when his frat brother Deacon Hunter challenged him to see who could stick a turkey leg down their throat the farthest, and he sucked it all the way in there and choked himself to death. You know, they were Sigmas, just as country. <laughs> you have a nice day, Janie. Janie, I got to click over Bobby Smyrna on the phone. <laughs>